starting off our fourth official day in Japan, we went and had breakfast at this little bakery that was on the corner right from our apartment or our Airbnb that we were staying at. And my husband speaks French, I don't, but it, it's called a boulangerie or something like that, I believe. But it was so delicious. <laughs> Treats. I really liked the, I don't know if you would call it a pastry, but it's almost like just it's bread with chocolate in it and like a powdered sugar on top, but it was just so good. This was the sandwich that my husband got. It had bacon, eggs, lettuce, and I can't remember what else it had on there, but just the presentation of it, it looks so beautiful and it just makes you want to eat it. So yes, if any of you have time and you are in the Osaka Homachi area, you should go visit this Kawa Boulangerie Bakery because it is super good. This is the little pharmacy. The Dotan body. So much shopping here. Yeah, we're here. Wow. Gotcha vending machines. I did a Sailor Moon one and I got a Sailor Jupiter from this one here. And this is a little fortune thing playing music. It's got four different languages. So cute. He got he caved. <laughs> there are tons of these. Tons and tons. We just we just found a shop full of these like anime stuff. So we we're gonna check this out. One Punch Man and Naruto. Oh, Morgan would be all over. It's only 200. Yeah, but if we got one of the weird characters, he wouldn't punch them. Yeah. Look at the little sheep. There's just some more Gundam type things. Oh, man. That's way cooler to me.
the land of vending machines or claw machines. Too much going on. It's the world of like claw machines. This was the place that we decided to try takoyaki from. It had the longest line, so I just naturally assumed that it must have the best. All right, Courtney's gonna try the, uh, I forgot what they're called. It's octopus, isn't it? It's octopus, it's delicious. I've already been nomin on them. How is it, Courtney? Chewy. That's good. We found another shop with a monkey tied that walks and he just keeps doing a circle. There's like a path that you can see where he's walked. So a lot more of these machines we're going to check out again. watching that one, I guess. No, I was unprepared because I've never seen one of these. Look, here's survival multi-tools without knives. <laughs> That's funny. Harry Potter. Some cars. Little katanas. What is with this big chin thing? <laughs>
So these are what all the shopping districts are like. They're outside, but they're all covered all the way down for miles and miles. It is awesome. Love it. Here we are waiting for the light to change in Bolton Body. So, so you can see what the light I'm doing a panorama. While we were out in the area shopping, we came across this. I don't even remember what store this was in, but I saw it in the corner of my eye, so of course I had to take a picture of it. This is a model showcasing the Naruto and Boruto theme park, and it looks really awesome, and I really wanted to go. Of course, before actually leaving the store, I had to get my picture taken with the original Team 7. Can we get our picture? Here we are at the Pokemon store in Osaka. I was gonna do it. Just of everything. So much. I don't know what those are. I've never seen those. That one's been signed by somebody. Pokemon? No. <laughs> So. While walking around the Dotenbori area, we came across the uh, karaoke place. I don't remember what is this called, the San Sankyo? Uh, I don't remember. But this karaoke place is the one that Kotokumi is doing her 19th to 20th anniversary celebration and where you can get the Kotokumi themed rooms and I really wanted to go just so I because I really wanted to see like the outfit that she was wore like all showcased and I thought it would be really cool but I didn't really have time to and with being able to go to the concert I felt it wasn't as important and of course while we were out we had to stop by Tower Records so that I could go in and see what they had and they had this Namie section of course so I had to take pictures of it and I was just blown away by all of them that they had there and I would have bought some because they did have ones that I didn't have like a few of her other like collections like the Valida collection but I just decided that I'll just wait till later to get it. So today we went to Doton Body and there were tons of those little uh, gotcha vending machine things and so I already opened this one but I got a little Sailor Jupiter, I did the Sailor Moon one. There was only three options for what you could get. <laughs> and thankfully, which I'm perfectly pleased and very happy about, I got Sailor Jupiter, because when me and my sisters would play Sailor Moon, I was always Sailor Jupiter. So the only options were Sailor Jupiter, this cute little Sailor Moon Princess Serenity, or this Sailor Venus. So I would have liked to have gotten all three of them, but it's like five dollars for each one so I wasn't about to just spend a bunch of money on it but here is Sailor Jupiter <laughs> I have to put her head on so I will be probably doing that here shortly and then we've got this little um, lucky cat here which I'm giving to my aunt for a present as well as this which is a little sushi roll cat with pickles on its back. So yeah, and my husband got himself a Gundam, which he is currently putting together. And then we found this brochure, which we got super excited about. Um, we thought that we were close maybe to the Naruto theme park, but lo and behold, we're pretty far and we won't have time to go to that, sadly. And we also went to the Pokemon Center, which they gave us a few things from that. Um, I didn't buy anything at the Pokemon Center. Um, I don't really need anything because I won't really do anything with it. But yeah, so far it's been super fun. Alright, so we have some of these mochis that we're going to try. So this is what it 
looks like. It's very squishy. It's supposed to be like chocolate. Mmm. That's pretty good. That's what the inside looks like. No, it's just like chocolate. I approve. I think it's very tasty. So I am about to head out for Japanesque, our part two of the live tonight. So I've got all my my gear and my my red fan, of course. If I can turn it on here. There we go. So meeting up with a few other people that are part of the Kodogumi global fan club so that'll be pretty awesome so we're gonna I think we're actually all in the same row tonight for the show so we're gonna go ahead and get started and probably head on our way here soon before heading to the Japanese concert my husband and I stopped to eat at this pizzeria bar logic which is also like right down from our Airbnb that we were at and this place was so Good. The customer service was great, which it pretty much is everywhere you go in Japan. But the food was phenomenal, and it was probably the best pizza I've ever had. I got a margarita pizza, and my husband got a marinara type pizza, and I got an alcohol free mojito, which was delicious. I really loved it. These were the others that I met from the Kotogumi International Fan Club, and it was so awesome to be able to go to the Japanese tour with them or the Japanese live. And we were actually pretty much all sitting next to each other, so it was really awesome to experience it together. And we all had such a great time. Japanesque was incredible. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to tell you guys more about it, but wow, I was blown away. So, Ugh, I, just, I just can't get enough of it. I can't stop thinking about it. On our way home from the concert back to our Airbnb, they had these trees all lit up. I'm not sure if that's something they just always do or if they're getting early or ready early for Christmas. I'm not sure. But it was really beautiful and just made the walk home really peaceful. And guys, it was just, it was a great way to end our fourth official day in Japan.